For more than a year, members of the Saskatoon Police Service have been creating a vision of the future of our service. We didn't do it alone though. In shaping our strategic plan, we looked for input from members of the public, our partner agencies, our Board of Police Commissioners, and of course, the men and women who serve as officers and civilians at the SPS. Together, we developed a five-year plan to address crime and safety in a challenging environment, ensure our members reach their full potential, enrich relationships with the many diverse communities in Saskatoon, ensure accessibility and transparency through our communications, and create sustainability through innovation and leading practices. Thank you for your interest in our plan. The relationships that we build with the business partners as well as with a number of the employees that work in the downtown core are crucial. With those relationships and the information that they provide to us, we're able to target our education and enforcement to kind of suit the needs of the business partners. I'm seeing them do a really good job. I'm seeing them show a lot of compassion to the people that they deal with. The police are really trying their best to make it a safe pleasant environment for people to come down shopping. I know that if I've got a problem, they're going to be there for us. Often we see people at their worst or we're delivering the worst news of someone's life. We're faced with a lot of daily stressors and we can go from writing a report one minute to racing to a gun call, not knowing what we're going to encounter. It doesn't take very long for someone to recognize if someone's in need of some help. You feel like a part of a big family. If our members are supported physically and mentally the way they have been, they're going to be more physically and mentally sound and capable to do the job that we do. As we deal with complex issues uh, that involve addictions, uh, marginalization, poverty, we realize in policing that we can only meet so many of the needs and we're only trained to deal with so many types of issues. And so we rely on partnerships with other organizations and agencies to fill in those gaps and to round out the service that we can provide to people to increase the likelihood of a good outcome. Seeing the police officers as um, community members, right, being able to engage with rather than having that stigma, right, attached to the police officers and working, but being able to connect, right, and developing those relationships. Many times people think that the media and police are adversaries or they're not going to get along, but really we have mutual values and purpose and that is to keep the community safe and informed. It means we need to understand the challenges that each other face and because they're changing so quickly now we need to make sure that we're talking things through, not making assumptions about why we're doing things, but really understanding the pressures that are on uh, both sides of this. We have a lot of 
very well educated and well rounded members. Um, they have a lot of interests outside of the police service that give them a perspective on some of the ideas that they put forward that may not have been thought of uh, from people who are strictly from a policing career or a policing background. And I think giving them the opportunity to put their ideas forward to the administration and uh, get them in the hands of people that make the decisions and have an opportunity to not only present but defend what their ideas are, I think is important. critical to stay on the cutting edge of innovation. We need to ensure that our computing infrastructure is always online. It can be the difference between a life and death call. Analyzing the data allows us to make strategic decisions to help solve crimes and also prevent crimes.